Good evening guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. Oh guys, honestly, nobody in the house really got too much today. It wasn't just me. Um, like everybody was just so pooped and so tired and so exhausted from the very intense football game yesterday. Um, and the thing that I find absolutely hilarious, not one of us was playing in the game last night. We were all just the, um, you know, innocent bystanders, but, um, you know, and the spectators, but we, like I said, had, you know, just a very intense football game. And I think it was, and because it was overtime too, it was like longer than normal, which is like, I guess, though, we were home, so it didn't take us that long to get home from the football game. But the game honestly didn't, like, we've been to some football games where it's, like, 10.30, almost 11 o'clock at night before we get, like, you know, before the game, well, not, like, the game ends, but, like, we finally get out of there, we leave, we, like, or, you know, go home, all that kind of stuff. Um, and again, too, depending on how far away we are, we might not go home till 11 o'clock, you know. Um, but, like, last night, I think the game ended around... A, a, like 10 o'clock I think or something like that so again it does sometimes you know especially they can go late but especially the overtime last night you know also went a little late and like me personally I and Jack said it too he was like he went to bed early last night like you know again and early because well they actually have a coaches meeting after the football game because they have to go back anyway because the kids all have to get you know changed out of their football clothes and pads and all that and into you know normal just street clothes again to get back you know and go back home so they all have to go back to school and that um so then the coaches are there anyway so they kind of just do like a coaches meeting afterwards and it's like an hour or so maybe something like that um and I think just to like talk about stuff that's fresh like right after the game you know they'll just talk about it um and so like I was saying they Jack and my dad though they didn't get home from football until probably about you know 11 o'clock or maybe close to midnight but Jack didn't even stay up that late and then he went to bed so I want to say he went to bed probably around midnight no later than one o'clock but he told me he was like I was just I don't know if I was so excited over the game last night like you know what it was he said he couldn't fall asleep until like three o'clock and they had to get up at eight o'clock to go to the like Saturday morning practice um at you know 8 a.m so Jack was telling me he's like I only got a few hours of sleep last night so like he was tired he actually went in his room and ended up taking a nap um my mom was also tired too I don't know what time she got up but she was up like decently kind of early ish I think I kind of slept in but I was still up I think by maybe I was up around 10 o'clock maybe a little after that I'm not sure um but I didn't end up waking up all of too late and then ended up you know like getting up and you know but I went to bed kind of late too because it was the same thing as Jack I didn't even know like I said I thought he was like asleep as soon as he went into his room last night but um again he couldn't fall asleep and I think it was the same thing too with like me I couldn't fall asleep either and like I just watched a little bit of tv then I went back in my room like you know I took a shower came back like you know was going to bed and I couldn't fall asleep either and I was like I think it was just the excitement from the game and like all that kind of stuff that like like, you know, we, especially me and Jack, I know, because like I said, he said that, you know, just really couldn't fall asleep. And I know my mom was up for a little while too, after like everybody kind of like was going to bed as well. And so I was like, I think that, you know, we just were all super pumped up from the game and the adrenaline was rushing and all that kind of stuff that we just, we couldn't, you know, like fall asleep. So um, anyways, though, we did end up, um, like, you know, not, not really getting to anything today too much. Like I said, they had football practice in the morning, um, and then we... Yeah, didn't really get too much. I did like throw Bliss's, um, I needed to wash Bliss's blanket yesterday. I threw it in the dryer today. <laughs> so that was the extent of kind of what I ended up doing. But then too, we were watching like college football today. And like, that's the thing about, I, I love that next week will officially be NFL football season. Cause although I love it and hate it, okay? It's a love hate relationship here with football. Because although I love Friday nights, you got the high school football games, Friday night lights, um, you know, and now again, too, I'm doing the cameras for, you know, the football games now that Jack's not 
playing anymore. Now he's coaching. My dad's coaching. Like I said, I'm doing the camera. Um, you know, the end zone camera. My mom's taking pictures. Like, you know, we're all, we're all in. We're all involved <laughs> in the football. Um, you know, the high school football. So we're there. We're going to be there every game. So Friday night, we got the football games. And before that's the JV, which we kind of like show up for. We're normally there for like at least a little portion of the JV game. Um, and then we have the, um, you know, Saturdays. Saturdays are college football days where we have Notre Dame and we have, um, you know, uh, Alabama. We have, we were watching NIU today because they were playing. We, um, you know, have Northwestern to watch. Those are normally our big college football game, um, that we normally watch. Like, I'm really kind of the only person that watches Alabama, but, um, my dad will watch, like, you know, my mom is huge. She's a huge college football person. She loves Notre Dame. We are always religiously watching Notre Dame every Saturday. Um, and then, like I said, Matthew goes to NIU, so we're watching NIU. And then um, the what's the other, like I said, Northwestern. My dad has worked a lot at doing the electric on Northwestern campus. So, and like, we've been there and seen it, like all that kind of stuff. And it's a really cool campus because we've seen both the um, city, like the Chicago city campus, and also have the Evanston campus. And we've been to both of the, the like, you know, the, the campuses. So, um, like we, and we've seen the field, we've been on the field, like, so, um, and this was like, like, I think my freshman year of high school, we went, it was like, bring your child to work day kind of thing. And my dad's boss um, brought his two kids. And then my dad brought me and Matthew. And Jack, I think, was too little at the time. He was like, I think, barely in preschool. So he was not coming with at that time. Um, but we ended up going. And like I said, we like walked on the field, you know, or I guess we, I don't know if we walked on the field, but you know, we went out to like the stadium. We were out there and you know, all kinds of stuff. And I think Matthew even had his picture taken with like the wildcat there. Um, and so that was really cool. But we've like, we, you know, we've been there. We've been to that, you know, like uh, school. So we, you know, again, we cheer them on on Saturdays as well. And then, like I said, I'm kind of the only Alabama fan and then we've also got like Jack likes I think Jack's a Clemson fan as well um and so he watches them normally and so we have a couple people that are kind of like you know again other schools are kind of you know <laughs> they're watching them and then too my dad because they went to um which I don't they're not like it's like a, a 2a 3a you know or division one schools whatever they are um the one that my dad and the coaching staff for the high school they went to because they run the same I think offense or something like that they're in um Arkansas my dad kind of follows them now too they actually went out there much the coaches you know they did like a whole clinic thing um and so they went out there I think that was in the early spring or like late winter this of this year um and so they were you know gone for like a few days there and like I said on the campus they got to see you know all the stuff meet all the coaches kind of some of the players so now my dad is kind of following them as well um but like I said we've got a couple different like college sports teams that we normally are rooting for um you know football teams and then Sunday we get you know um NFL football all day long. So while it's nice, I like having football all weekend. Um, it also does take a lot of time out of like things don't necessarily get done or we have a lot of stuff that's like going on. And again, too, it's like today we were kind of sitting around watching football all day. We were doing that yesterday. And it's like, too, it's like once we come back from the games on Friday, though, we're all just tired. Like that's all we want to do is just sit there and watch more football. And then it's like what you're kind of in that routine of like, you know, just sitting there on the couch all day, you turn into a couch potato and then that's all you want to do the next day. And there's more football on the next day on Sunday and it's NFL football and you can't not watch that either. So then you're stuck sitting there all day on Sunday. Day. Um, so, and it's all day long. It is from, you know, again, maybe not it's super early in the morning unless they've got one of the like, you know, they're traveling, you know, to a different like country for like one of the early, early morning games or sometimes they'll play at, like seven, eight o'clock in the morning or whatever. But normally it starts from noon and it goes all the way until 
you know, Sunday night football, which can end, you know, like 10 o'clock, I don't know, 11 o'clock sometimes at night. It's like there's almost 12 hours of football on a Sunday. And there can the same thing too on a Saturday. And then Friday nights, like I said, it starts off with the high school football. And while it's nice and while I wouldn't trade those fall, you know, um, football weekends for anything, it is a huge time suck on the weekends in the fall of, like I said. And it's not like, okay, well, you know, again, too, the you know high school football seasons back it's like you know again too then my dad and Jack they have football practice every single day during the week um you know after the high school you know school day is out then they're there and they're there until you know normally about six o'clock and you know it's normally like from three to six I think they're there for and sometimes they get back a little bit later so like sometimes 6 30 almost depends on like what what all is going on so, um, like I was saying, then, you know, like, and now once NFL football starts too, you got Mondays, which is, again, right after Sunday, and then you got Thursdays, which they also have. So, it's literally, I was like, there's two days out of the week where there's no football, and there still is football, because, like I said, they still go to football practice. <laughs> so, like, there's literally two days out of the entire week where we're not watching something on TV, and still sometimes they might have, like, a weird college game day, like, you know, thing on one of the days, but it's like... Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the only days there's no football on and they're some of the saddest days of the week but at the same time too they're you know um like the only days where I feel like there's not like you know the thing with the weekdays though is that we still have the whole whole earlier part of the day yes there's you know again school work you know that kind of stuff but for the most part you kind of have the day you know and then you come home and then you get to watch football it's kind of the reward for the whole thing but it's like on the weekends it's like we just you know it's like okay it's a commercial get up and go and do whatever you got to do okay quick come back you know or like okay well I'll miss like you know the second quarter or something like that right before you know or like um you know something you never want to miss the end of the game you never really want to miss the beginning of the game it's like if you have to miss like maybe one of the quarters in the middle you know it's okay um but you know like and like I said it's just it's a long long day but it's funny because I will say I think Sunday football was actually what helped us get through cleaning out the entire attic um, because that was the period of time when we did it. it was once, um, I think the high school football ended and then we would get boxes from upstairs and we'd bring them down and we'd organize them. And it was nice because we'd just sit in front of this TV, watch the football game. It's, it's nice because it's not something that, you know, you have to like, like a movie, like if you you know blink you might miss the whole plot line <laughs> you know it's like you know sometimes they do kind of like story pieces there's commercials you know there's timeouts there's all that kind of stuff so it's like you do have some time downtime where again too you don't have to watch or you know again too you don't have to watch every single play on top of that as well but you know so I think that was actually what got us through cleaning out the attic because everybody was content to just sit there and we just bring the boxes down and we just go through them and everybody would go through them together and you know we had everybody in the same place at the same time to be able to do that which was really awesome and so I think that was kind of the saving grace and getting our or our attic reorganized and cleaned out and everything like that was actually football <laughs> so it can be productive at the same time but like right now it's like we could bring like a computer upstairs to like watch the games on well like you know again we're working or doing something like my dad you know doing the insulation upstairs and stuff like that but you know again too there's just a lot of like you know the football going on on. and a lot of times we're like oh we have to you know watch that game we have to catch that you know something and and we don't maybe get to as much stuff as you know we could because there's a lot of football on in the fall and there's a lot of watching football in the fall so um like I said it can be productive and help us and you know that kind of thing but at the same time too sometimes you just you turn into a couch potato and you're just sitting there for like two days straight on the couch watching football um but like I said too it's just like the weird thing is is that Saturdays is almost like the reward for sitting in the the high school football game because sometimes too it's like not comfortable so it's like once you get in your comfy chair and you're just like oh yes this is nice to sit here in like the temperature controlled house because again too Friday nights you never know is it going to be too cold is it going to be too hot it's like the weather's all weird you know again too you're outside again too it wouldn't change Friday night football for anything but <laughs> at the same time too Saturday's kind of like the day where you get a reward 
record yourself. You know, it's like, it's a comfy chair. I don't have to sit in the bleachers, you know, <laughs> I don't have to sit on, you know, um, you, again, for me, it was having to sit on those little mini stools to record the, <laughs> the football game in the end zone, um, or having to stand. Like, thankfully I don't have to stand. I like that I can still sit, but those little chairs are not cutting it. I need to get the, the camping chairs that I was telling you guys yesterday I need for football because, yeah, it wasn't working. Anyways, though, um, I'm going to take a shower and get to bed. Like I said, tomorrow we don't really have anything going on and everybody's home or will be home on Monday. Jack doesn't even have classes anyway and I don't know if they even have them because of like Labor Day, but my dad is off of work. So I think we're going to do Jewel on um, Monday, possibly me and him, but he's going to do Tony's and Caputo's tomorrow. I think right after he does, they have a like conference, like a Zoom call thing that's like, I think a half an hour, an hour that they do on Sundays. So all in all, <laughs> there's still more football stuff going on tomorrow, um, but we don't have any NFL football tomorrow, which is, you know, we, that starts on Thursday, which I'm super excited for. But like I said, at the same time, it's like, I know what's coming because today was kind of the precursor for that. And I was like, this is how the rest of you know again I think the high school football is nine season or nine games um and that you know if, unless they make it to playoffs which would be awesome but that's nine games I feel like Friday nights are just a tough thing because normally everybody's like sore and tired from like being out like at the football game versus like again sitting in front of the tv it's more relaxing and so um that's why normally then on Saturday we just we sit around and then Sunday we're like well we have to sit through all the NFL football games and if there's like a really bad one on that like nobody really wants to watch them we won't watch it but for the most part we care about a lot of the games and so we'll watch a lot of them and like I said I know there was a lot last year though we were like yeah I'm not gonna watch this it's not my team I don't care about them whatever but anyways <laughs> so normally the primetime games though they are good so that's why you still want to watch them but Anyways, I'm going to take a shower and get to bed. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. And I'll see y'all in shiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.